one boy is standing here having a string of radius r and the ball is started moving in a particular angular velocity that is what it is and having a mass m so now calculate the string well, sorry what is the tension in the string that is what we have to calculate it now so what how to calculate tension in the string so we all know that tension in the string is considered as a what tension in the string board. which is acting towards to the center which is considered as a what everybody which is equals to the centripetal force so then f is equals to t is equals to centripetal force means then t is equals to also what is the formula t is equals to m v square by r omega square r we can say m into v square by r that is what you have to remember so to calculate the amount of tension present in the string we will use to calculate the formula that is what we used to call as centripetal force understand so finish it as you understand this statement write this statement also so actually the centripetal force is not existed but what will happen the total force acting towards to the center we used to consider as a what guys we used to consider as a centripetal force that is what you have to remember okay so make it quick Any doubt, please let me know. Till you are completed, then we will solve one beautiful sum so that we can, you will understand how to calculate this tension or uh, we will make it. So we start. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So let us see that. Actually, that is uh, on a, now what we are going to solve is uh, one of the uh, nice question. So we are, you all will uh, feel uh, like really good. So let us take now one uh, a strong pole which is uh, uh, present here. Now we are trying to attach. This is like a center, same like a man. A man is standing and uh, he is uh, rotating the swirling the ball same way. So for this, I am tying a three ropes like attaching ropes. You can see that first one meter one meter rope I am taking. All of you observe one meter rope and here I attach it to this. 1 kg mass. How much mass I attached everybody? 1 kg mass. One kg. And then I continued the rope 1 more meter. So that is what the total length from here to here. How much it is? How many meters? 2 meters. Okay. So here I attached 2 kg. 2 kg. And again I extended 1 meter. And here I attached 3 kg mass. Okay. Clear Dreswa? This is the question we have to calculate. Now, so if you observe very carefully, now they are asking and always remember this, this all three are attached to a single rope. Like we can say that from the pole, actually they are started moving in a same angular velocity. The angular velocity given is two radians per second. What is the angular velocity given? Everybody? Two radians per? Two radians okay. per second. Then the question is calculate, calculate tension in tension in all the strings that is what we have to do it so we start now i will teach you observe if you have any doubt you can ask me and we'll proceed it so we start now clear so observe very carefully this is the diagram and if you want you can read out the same diagram and we'll proceed so as they mentioned in the question given question or something they mentioned what is that everybody yes please what is that there are everybody is moving with the what? Same angular. Same angular. Same angular velocity. So means this body is also moving with the same angular velocity. This body is also moving with the same angular velocity. And this body is also moving with the same angular velocity. Do you all understand? Imagine the question at least. Can you able to imagine or not? Yes. Everyone? Yes? Yes, sir. Please respond. Now. So let me consider first body. So at this point, 
the tension will start moving away from the body always remember when the string changes the string length will changes the tension also will changes if i take 1 meter length different tension if i take 2 meter length different tension if i take 3 meter length different tension am i right or wrong everybody the t the difference the yeah. tension is not same always it will varies when the string will change or length of the string will change the string will change always what will varies tension also changes clear yeah. now let me consider the tension which is acting towards to the this point pole center of course it will go like this and it will come like this go like this and come like this like it will makes continuously revolving so the tension which is acting away from the first body let me consider t1 in this side next the tension which is acting away from this side it is acting towards the what like this so let me consider that is what t1 okay Understand, Ra? Everybody? So, for a particular particle, if you consider the tension which is acting like this one, this is what we also consider T, that is what centripetal acceleration. And the tension which is acting away from it, we will consider something as a T. The same thing I am considering here. The tension which is acting towards to the pole, I am considering as a T. And which is acting away from the first body, I am considering as a what? Everybody? T1. I am considering as a T1. Same way, as we know, the this length of the string is entirely same. This is what entire same string. So now at this point, the second body, the, the centripetal force which is acting towards two away from it, that is also will become what? That is also will become, yes please, T1. And the force which is acting away from this side will become what? T2. T2. And last body, the force which is acting again away from this side, how much it will become? That is also will become? T2. T2. So this is what it is. Now we have to calculate what is the tensions exerted by every every string. First string, second string, third string. So all the three strings. What calculate the tensions in all the three strings? So we start now. Do it everyone. Okay. So that is what you have to consider. So let us consider first three meters body. So this is the pole and which is present uh, three meters away from that. And here is the body is present. And what is the, what is the tension acting towards the center? We have considered already. What is the tension T2. acting towards the center? Everybody? T2. T2. Am I right? All of you? So that is what. And they have given, this body is also traveling with the same angular velocity. What is the angular velocity given? Two, Two radian per second. So this is reminds what for everybody reminds it is what is that reminds Think. constant reminds constant okay so now observe very carefully so we all knows that FC FC means what net force acting towards the what net force acting towards the what guys center. yeah towards to center so that so I will say net force acting towards the center is equals to the force exerted by the tension that is what third body tension t2 that is what i am assuming as a f2 or t2 so we all know from the linear acceleration so v is equals to what is the formula r r omega r omega so if you notice a r means we all know that r is always reminds what r is reminds constant constant and v is also omega is also they are saying what Omega constant. is all of you. Omega is also constant. So now observe very carefully. We all know that the centripetal force, which is acting towards the center, which is equals to tension in the third body, the, the second string. So which is equals to F2 is equals to what is the formula? MR MR Omega square. So that's all. So mass is how much, guys? Three. Radius three. is constant. How much? 3. And what is the omega? Omega is equals to 2. So, which two. is equals to 9 into 4, which is equals to how many newtons? How many newtons force is acting? 36. 36 newton force is acting towards to the center. Now, if this is 36 means, then 2 kg mass also exerting how much? This T2 is equal to this T2. Because both are opposite. Then how much it is? This is also will become how much? Yes, please. 36, respond Ra, 36 
Newton. Am I right, everyone? Now, can you tell me what is the resultant force acting at this point? Suppose uh, now, second body I'm considering. Second body, one force is acting, this is T1, and another force is acting, which is T2. So can you tell me what is the net force? Net force is equal to how much it will come? Then net force means the force which is acting towards the center. So net force means what will happen? Now the net force which is acting towards the center, which is equal to what? Everyone? T1. T1. And it is going away, Rudreshwar. One is going away and one is coming this side. So that what will happen? Both are opposite direction. So what is the resultant force? T1 minus, T1 minus T2. T2. Because it is going like this direction. So we have to consider T2 is going away. Understanding it is coming towards the center, it is going away. So that away means it is considered positive or negative? Or? It is considered negative. So that is what negative. T1 minus T2. So that is what which is equals to resultant force. That is what we can say TFC or we can say TC. So now second case. Second case if you consider body is how many meters away from the pole everybody? Two. Second case body is two meters away from the pole. So that is what it is. So one force, one tension is T1, another tension is T2. So already we got the T2 value. How many, how many newtons T2 value? 36 <laughs> newtons. Okay. Now let us find resultant force is equals to, we all know that tension 1 minus tension 2. So what is the resultant force formula? Resultant force formula. M R omega square omega. Which equals to T1 minus T2 value. We already got it. How much T2 value? 36. So mass of the body is 2, radius is 2 and omega is equals to 2 square. So which is equals to 4 into 4, which is equals to T1 minus 36. Then what will happen? 4 fours are 16. So 36 will come this side, 36, which is equals to T1. So what is the tension? T1 is equals to how much? 36 plus 16, which is equals to 52 Newtons. Understand all of you? So that is what? So then here, the tension exerted in this string, T1 is equals to how much, guys? This we found it. T1 is equals to how much? 52, 52 Newtons. Newtons. Then again here, this T1 is going away from it or towards it or? away from it. Away. So that will consider negative. And here I want to find uh, tension T. So how to find it again? The first body is present how many meters away from the body? Yes? 56 Newton. Yeah. No, no. How many meters away first body? That is what? 1 meter. 1 meter. Understanding? One, meter. 1 kg mass which is present in 1 meter and this is acting T and away from it. What is to call? T1. Yes or no? So what is the resultant force now? Resultant force, centripetal force is equals to, what will come? T minus T1. T1. So why sir, you are taking T minus T1? Always remember centripetal force means whatever the forces are acting. Finally, the force which is acting towards the what? Net force. Net force which is acting towards the center, which is only wish to call as what? All of you. Yes. What is to call? centripetal force sorry centripetal force so that f is equals to yeah so fc is equals to how much it will come respond so fc is equals to rudreshwar already finished it mr omega square is equals to t minus t1 value 52 so m is 1 r is 1 and omega is 2 square which is equals to t minus 52 so 2 square means 4 4 is equals to t minus 52 52. So T is equals to how much ra? 52 plus 4, which is equals to 56 Newtons. That is what you have to remember it. So which string is exerting more force? Where it is exerting more force towards the center? Everyone? T1. Understand? So that is what you have to remember it. So T1 is 56. Sorry, T is 56. T1 is 52. And T2 is 36. For example, another body if I attach, then what will happen here? Anybody can tell? Suppose I attach it 4 meters away, another fourth body. For example, I am saying. Then here what will come? Everyone? Here what will come? T3 and T3. here also what will come? T3 will come. So, if you want to find the here resultant force, what will happen? Resultant force Fc is equals to T2 minus T3. T2 minus T3. Understand, brothers? Only for last body will directly act it. Clear? Understand, yes, Ra? 
that is what okay so that is what you have to find it so you you want you can find a t3 also everybody so check it everyone suppose if the t uh, fourth body is present then what is the t3 value directly i can find it so t3 value is equals to i can say directly omega sorry what is that m r omega square so which is equals to m is 4 kg 4 4 kg r is uh, 4 meters into omega is 2 square so 16 into 4 how much ra how many Huh? No. 64 newtons. So what is the tension in the fourth string? For the fourth body? 64 newtons. That is what F C. Okay. Then you can find the you can find the T2, sorry, T2 by using this one. So then you can verify T2. How it will come? So F C is equals to T2 minus T3. So T2 minus T3 value, how much? We got it just now. 64. F is equals to here M R omega square. So M is equal to how much? 3 into R value. 3 into omega square is 2 square. 3 3 is a 9 into 4. How much ra? 9 4 is a 36. 36. T2 minus 64. So T2 is equal to 36 plus 64, which is equal to how many newtons? How many newtons? 100 newtons. Clear? Ha? Like this same sum, you take it, 4 bodies and you solve it. Clear, Rudreswar? How to solve initially? Laksha? Yes, so that is what. So the tensions exerted by every body, you people need to calculate like this. If you want, you can take one more example and you can calculate like fourth body is present with the 4 kg mass and you can calculate this one. Is it okay, all of you? Yes. Pradosh? Sir. So F2, next F1, so as T1 and as well as T. Everything you have to find it. Okay, then everything you solve it, everybody. So then you have to remember. So this is what about uh, about this uh, tangential acceleration. Uh, sorry, tangent centripetal force. That is what we used to call it as F C. The force which is acting in the same direction of what? Which is acting in the same direction of same direction of what? Centripetal. Centripetal acceleration. Okay. Acceler now, the similar this centripetal acceleration, we will apply for the concept called as conical conical pendulum. You might be not heard it. You might be heard a simple pendulum. Am I right or wrong? All of you. So we will apply the yeah. centripetal centripetal acceleration concept for the conical pendulum and as well as dead dead well. Have you noticed the dead well movies and all? You might be watch it Hollywood movies. Uh, so our big well will be there and the people are uh, yes, riding the bike and the cars on this. I mean, not have you noticed it, everybody? Yes, sir. On the walls of the containers, that is what a big well, they will be used to uh, riding the bikes and all. Yes, Pradosh? Bicycles and all you can see. So that is only yes, which is called as uh, death well. Okay. So if you apply the centripetal acceleration or the centripetal force for this conical pendulum and as well as we will say death pole, then how it will be coming. That is what we will discuss in the next class. Now, till here, immediately after the class, once again, what we studied in today's class, revise everything. And tomorrow, we will discuss this conical pendulum and as well as death pendulum. So, conical pendulum means you know, very simple. It's nothing. So, like a normal pendulum. Simple pendulum, simple pendulum, we all know that. It will make the to and fro motion. Am I right or wrong? It will come like this and it will go like this. It will come like this and it will go like this from the main position. Is it right or wrong, everybody? Yes. Okay. All of you, the similar way, conical pendulum means just very simple. If you are, suppose I am having an attachment and if I am instead of moving through and from motion, I am making a motion of a pendulum like this one. Round. This is what? Like this circle, continuously I am making a pendulum motion like this. So that is what we used to call it as. What is to say? We used to call it as conical pendulum. Conical pendulum. So in this case, how we can apply the centripetal force and what is the formula for this conical pendulum and everything we'll discuss it. You might remember first chapter, simple pendulum. Simple pendulum, what is the formula? Can you remember? Simple pendulum. We have derived unit and uh, pendulum, units and uh, measurements. Simple pendulum formula, please. T is equals to time period T is equals to 2 pi into root over L by G. Do you remember all of you this formula for units and measurements? So many questions we solve like this. Yes, sir. 
So this is the form yes, calculating time period of a what 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 one simple pendulum. Okay, then we will discuss the same thing. If it is a circular like conical pendulum, how to derive the formula? How to calculate the angular velocity and as well as time period and same way depth well. These concepts we will discuss tomorrow and as well as we will continue further in this. So now. According to the book and as well as your level, already this chapter is completed. This all the things for foundation and as well like NEET and JE only we are discussing. There only it will come this all the things. So please kindly till here everything learn and then we will continue tomorrow conical pendulum and uh, death pool and then further uh, numericals and all we will solve and we will try to finish the chapter as soon as possible so that we can go to the next chapter that is what fourth chapter of our uh, class uh, class 11. So we will see that. Okay, guys, everybody clear? Any doubt, anyone can ask me. Okay, so till here, each and everything, you have to go through that, whatever we studied in our today's class and be ready for the tomorrow's class. We'll uh, meet in tomorrow evening. Thank you, everybody.